The geometry dash community has recreated the 2.2 sneak peek 1 to 1 scale. This was all achieved by a talented team of 4 creators who set out to be the first to achieve this feat. However, they were not the only ones trying to accomplish this. Unlike what anybody was expecting, a race was about to begin. Oh, also, I am trying to reach 15,000 subscribers before the new year, so I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe. It's fine if you don't, I just thought I'd ask. Like in previous updates, players were quick to recreate the sneak peek with the features we currently have available. However, nowhere was this more predominant than the 2.2 private server. The admins there initiated a contest, which turned into a race due to the approaching deadline. Before anything else, layout recreations of the sneak peek were underway. The first obstacle creators faced was the recreation of the arrow trigger. In case you don't know, the arrow trigger allows the player to move up walls and in directions that were not previously possible. The first thing creators tried was, uh, this. Yeah, it's janky to say the least. Fortunately, an accurate way to recreate the arrow trigger had just been discovered. Simply put, this effect is just one big illusion. The way it works is by rotating the level and rotating the camera 90 degrees the other way. More practically, this is done by making two identical parts, rotating one of them, and then teleporting the player between them. This leads to a practically seamless illusion in-game, but we could see what really happens by going in the editor. It is commonly considered that this method was invented by a creator known as Chuggy, who had made this illusion previously. He would also go on to make a 1-to-1 -one -one layout recreation of the sneak peek, which would serve as the base for the final product. Chuggy was alone on his journey, but by now, a team was forming. The problem with actually decorating the layout was largely due to the pixel decorations needed. In case you don't know, the game starts to become practically unplayable with large and dense object counts, also known as the definition of pixel art. Shogi reached out to two people to help make the pixel art. However, one made their part in 2.1, which was not ideal, but despite the other's work, Shogi decided to take matters into his own hands. Frequent crashes were a common occurrence, but Shogi was determined. However, by this time, someone else had a different idea. But we'll discuss that later. By now, Shogi enlisted someone by the name of Nightenchik to help with the pixel art. However, there is a catch. Nightenchik had never used the Geometry Dash editor before, so he had to be taught by Shuggy. Having someone who had never used the editor before was less than ideal, but seeing the finished product right now, it is clear that they both managed to pull through. As for the animations featured in the sneak peek, I was amazed when I found out how they were recreated. Shuggy made every single one from the start, using OBS on his second monitor with a transparent video file of all animated objects on top. Using a bunch of different objects along with the advanced scale controls, Shogi recreated each frame of each animation. This includes every animation you see in the level, such as these explosions, these lightning beam things, and these torches. Remember how I said that someone else had a different idea? Well, this idea was to use a texture pack to reduce lag and make recreating the visuals much easier. And this someone goes by the name of Genomorphosis. Genomorphosis asks Shogi to use his layout, which Shogi respectfully denied, not believing in the use of a texture pack to recreate the level. But nevertheless, Genomorphosis was a potential competitor for the contest, which had a nearing deadline. Funnily enough, not long after the 2.2 private server contest was announced, somebody else started their own sneak peek remake contest with cash prizes. While the legitimacy of this contest is beyond the scope of this video, participants could receive bonus points if they used a texture pack. Genomorphosis apparently did join this contest. Another potential competitor was BlackDev9, who made this recreation. Although I think we can all agree that Shruggies is by far better. However, for Black Dev 9 supposedly being colorblind, I would say that they did a really good job with this added difficulty taken into consideration. So, Shruggy had two other remakes to compete against, and even with the deadline extended, there was still a lot of work left to do. Three days before the deadline, Shruggy enlisted another creator by the name of Jiren. About a day before the contest deadline, the team so far, consisting of Shruggy, Nightingale, and Jiren, told the admin running the contest of what they had so far. To their surprise, the contest had been quietly cancelled after a changing of deadlines. The team was, and I quote, kinda in a bra moment, although relieved that they could work on the project longer. The other two competitors' entries eventually faded into irrelevance, leaving the team with no competition, allowing them to finally take it easy after a long while. However, even with the competition over, the team began to fear a new upcoming deadline. They worried that in 2022, the full 2.2 update will come out. This quickly added pressure, but even if we ignore this, many other challenges arose. One challenge the team needed to overcome was the recreation of this background. As you can see in the official sneak peek, this is a new background that we did not have access to yet. 
The team originally asked an admin if they could add it as a custom background into the game, but their request was denied. Ultimately, the team just decided to use a similar background instead. While thoughts of recreating it from scratch emerged, it was far too detailed and the level was already unstable enough due to the large object count. Eventually, a new challenge arose. Because of how the arrow trigger illusion works, it makes the level's background rotate in ways that did not look natural. Jen was already starting to lose motivation and therefore could not tackle this issue on his own. Hope was being lost. Before long, the project was considered dead. However, a fourth and final team member would change this. The team enlisted Pandora, the fourth and final addition to the team. Pandora's solution to this problem was to use a scaled up blank block to hide the background during these parts. Look, it's not the best solution, but it definitely makes the part play much more smoothly. But Pandora would have another problem to tackle. Some of the recreated tombstones from the sneak peek were affected by a layering issue due to having used buggy, unfinished 2.2 objects. Needless to say, they needed to be redone. Pandora set out to remake the tombstone pixel art, but this would not be easy. You see, the level by this point was so big that it was impossible to open on mobile. To combat this, Pandora had to build his part on an emulator, something he was not used to. But as is now evident, this drawback did not prevent the exceptional outcome we see today. There were only a few things left to do before releasing the level, but before I talk about those, I think it is important that we truly recognize the feat that this is. While previous update sneak peeks were relatively easy to recreate, 2.2 is such a big update with grand features that were seemingly impossible to remake. Like, seriously, how could we recreate stuff like this? Shruggy, Nightenshik, Dren, and Pandora, the team behind this masterful achievement, were on the verge of completion. Where so many others would turn away, where so many others would quit, this team had made it further than all other attempts previously. I mean, just look at this. On screen you can see a side-by-side -side comparison of the recreation and the official sneak peek. They are practically identical. Even the minor details such as these explosions and these particle effects on the platforms are perfect. This recreation is truly an achievement for the community, and that is why I wanted to make this video. Anyway, now let's get back to the story. August 14th is the day that marks the release of the official 2.2 sneak peek and is when this recreation was started. After over 4 months of hard work, the team was beginning to see the final product of what they had set out to make all that time ago. Once Pandora was finished, he passed the level back to Shuggy, who made some final adjustments and touched up the level. And with the swift click of a button, and with the swift click of a button, the level was finally released. The level was promoted by the admins and Nexus uploaded a replay of it a day later, which the admins also promoted. I wonder if the admins can promote this video. To be completely honest with you, I think this project symbolizes just how far the Geometry Dash community has come. We have mastered every update, and in 2.1, we are already even mastering 2.2. Innovation is the one thing this community has always been the best at, despite what some others may say. When we look past the controversies and look towards all the accomplishments we've made together, this makes it clear that the Geometry Dash community is unlike any other. Anyway, please consider subscribing if you like this content, and I hope you have a fantastic day, as always.